The Battle of Kings Mountain was fought on October 7, 1780 in South Carolina, near the North Carolina border between British loyalists under the command of Major Patrick Ferguson and American militia and over mountain men from Virginia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. The battle was a major victory for the Americans, and Major Patrick Ferguson was killed during the battle. In the years after the battle, stories began spreading throughout the region that the ghost of Patrick Ferguson was seeking revenge for his defeat and death during the battle. In this video, we're going to explore the battle and the ghost story of Major Patrick Ferguson. In the weeks leading up to the battle, Major Patrick Ferguson had been sent by British General Charles Cornwallis to recruit more men loyal to the British to help fight the Americans in the South. Ferguson decided the best course of action was to threaten everyone in the South into submission and service, probably not the best plan. He issued a proclamation saying if you didn't join his army, then you were considered an enemy and would be killed on sight. This enraged the people in the South, obviously, and the American militia leaders used this to help attract more soldiers to their lines, and it worked. After putting out a call to arms, the American force numbered around 1,100, and the British numbered just about 1,000 men. The Americans had received word from locals that Ferguson had encamped on top of Kings Mountain, and they devised a plan to surround him and kill every British soldier on sight. Ferguson had chosen the ground against the advice of his staff, and he even told them, not even God himself could get me off this mountain. His staff was worried that they would be attacked and there would be no way of escape, and it became obvious that Ferguson's arrogance was going to eventually lead to disaster. On October 7th, the American forces surrounded the mountain and slowly started making their way up. They left around 200 men back as reinforcements and to keep watch for any potential British reinforcements, and at 3 p.m., they split into eight detachments that numbered between 1 to 200 men each. A loyalist would later go on to say, We didn't know they were there until the shooting started. The shooting became intense and the British were almost struck down before they knew what was going on. The Americans still marched up the ridge to surround the British as they were firing, while the British formed defensive lines and tried to fight off the Americans in typical line combat style. Ferguson was riding up and down the lines encouraging his men while blowing his whistle, which symboled charge, when an American sharpshooter took aim and fired at the Major. He was struck and fell to the ground. As he lay there dying, he was surrounded by multiple American soldiers demanding his surrender, but Ferguson refused and shot one of the soldiers with his pistol before the Americans finished him off with multiple shots in the chest and head, killing him instantly. The battle was over in a little over an hour, and the British had lost about 290 killed, 163 wounded, and over 600 captured. The Americans only lost 28 killed and 62 wounded. Many of the British soldiers captured were later executed by over-mountain men and the American militia. The battle was a turning point in the American Revolutionary War and many people visited the battlefield in the years following to see where the mighty victory had been achieved. Ferguson had been buried where he died on the mountain and he was given a memorial years later. Over the years people began claiming to see phantom soldiers still fighting up on Kings Mountain and people started claiming to see Major Patrick Ferguson on his horse charging at visitors who dared disturb his resting place. Over the years the story began that if you go to Ferguson's grave and challenge him then he will show up and try to fight you to the death. The story has even survived into the 21st century and people still claim to see Ferguson guarding his earthly remains on that mountain. In my opinion, it sounds like the battlefield is haunted by mostly residual activity from the battle, but there are probably a few intelligent spirits there, including Ferguson. The life story of Patrick Ferguson was full of bad luck, and his expedition to get more recruits was one he took very seriously, and he saw it as a chance to gain fame and promotion. Maybe he's still trying to achieve fame even in death, and that's why he's still fighting up there on King's Mountain. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, comment your thoughts on it below, and subscribe for more. But from Fight Paranormal, I'm Jake, and have a great day, everyone.